Hi everybody, today I want to show you how to extend your system storage to your SD card. The first thing you got to do is to connect your SD card to your laptop or your computer with the help of an SD card adapter. Then you got to go to your SD card and then you select all your folders in that SD card and then create a new folder on your desktop or anywhere else and call it mobile phone SD open that folder and then paste everything that you copied there it is very important to back up your SD card because during this procedure we're gonna format your SD card and all your data is gonna disappear now we have to check the size of the folders that we copied it is 8.03 GB we close down this now we have to go and check how much was the size it was 21.2 minus 29.2 so it is the same amount of data that we next go and download the mini tool so that we could create two partitions for the SD card this is because link to SD would work just with two partitions on after downloading the mini tool now we can go and open it then you choose mini partition wizard mini partition wizard 8 is starting then you got to check which is your SD card. In my case, it is basic 29.28 GB. And then you right click, press split, and then we split the SD card into two parts. For example, now I'm trying to make it to 8.11 GB, or maybe less, a bit less, 6.68 GB as one of the partition and 22.6 as another. Then you split go and right click again to the second partition and then go and format press on the format and now we can put a partition label for the for this this uh, system and it's important to change the file system as well change the file system to uh, extend to there are so many file systems that you can choose from but now you got to choose extend to then we can go ahead and press OK. Then we can check that everything is OK. There are two partitions. And then we right click on the second and set it as primary. And the first one can be FAT32. And as you can see, we cannot set the FAT32 as a primary. So we go and check the properties. Partition information is FAT32 and the physical size is also there and then we can check the property of another one and partition information is extended to file system info is the size of it is written there after checking that everything is okay we can go and click on the apply and press yes here so that it will start the process of formatting and applying the changes to our SD card so that we would have two partitions in our SD card so that a, a link to SD card would work and we could transfer our information from system storage to the second partition of SD card. Now it's updating uh, partition information apply the changes press ok next thing to do is to go and go to the folder that we copied the SD backup uh, and moved it to the desktop of my another computer so I have to go to the desktop of my another computer and there I will choose all the files that I copied from my SD card and I copy them and then I go to my SD card and I paste them there so now it's getting copied 
After inserting back the SD card to the mobile phone, you will receive this message. You got three choices in here. First one is to cancel, second is to recreate mount scripts, and the third one is quick reboot now. So if I will try quick reboot and it would not work, then you get this message again. Then you have to try recreate mount script. So now select quick reboot now. Your phone would be restarting and once it start again, first thing we will do is to press the middle button of your phone then press the left one to check the how much memory we have how much system storage we have it is 1.66 gb keep that in mind so now we are going to start the link to sd application so you press on that then the application opens uh, for example i choose google chrome then press click create link then press ok and it's now creating the link from your system storage to SD card second partition so now it's creating the link and some of the application you just cannot move to your SD card so in this way you can really save a lot of space so now it is moved it says linked SD card then go back press the middle button and check this memory storage it, the system storage is now 1.56 gb compared to 1.66 so we save some space now and you can go and double check whether google chrome is working and yes uh, i just press on something it's, it seems it's working as you can see so even after moving in and linking it to sd card it's still working now let's go and check what link to sd card has what feature it has let's press here as you can see you can show all your applications or your system applications or user linked or on sd card or on internet frozen movable or updated now we press back and you can see some other options sort by these types you can press back let's say other options if you want to save some space in your system storage you can then press clear our app uh, catches or clear update that will catches you can check some other options you press here then you go for settings you can see we have different options in the settings like clear catchy notification you can get auto link is a good option also automatic link newly installed applications to SD card here are, are all the options that you got install location you can also choose <clears throat> so let's go back up and choose this auto link so whenever we install a new application it would automatically would link to our SD card so we would not need to Link, link it manually and there are the three options to link thanks for watching and if you have received any problems please write down the problems in the comments at the bottom of this video and i hope this helped you to transfer your applications from your system storage to your sd card in the second partition of sd card